Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramzan Mubarak, whatever you want to say the greeting. Blessings and peace for the holy month. Obviously, we are going into Ramadan in the context of the backdrop of many global colonial genocides and oppressions, but but centrally, the one against Gaza, and uh, in uh, in light of that, of course, the shining beacon of humanity centrally on the planet, which is the Palestinian people's resistance of all tactics and strategies and all means necessary. I'm really struggling, and I've struggled with this, but in this particular framework, in terms of the Islamic framework, in its frameworks, guidelines and obligations towards fighting oppression, I'm going to cut to the chase. I don't understand what's going on here. As far as I understand it, the, the ethics and obligations in the Islamic framework is in a context where one part of the Ummah or one part of humanity is being devastated with this level of oppression and death and injustice that isn't it in the Islamic framework obligatory for, for those who follow the faith and and the faith being a guide for humans in general to fight that oppression by any means necessary? I'm, I'm a little bit confused here because I know the month of Ramadan, if there is a struggle against oppression within the month of Ramadan, as there was in the Iraqi occupation post-2003, is obligatory to fight harder against injustice, to sacrifice more for the oppressed, to defy the oppressor and the oppressor's unjust laws. Because I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that. If anything, what's being manipulated in this particular framework is to push a very problematic and arguably manipulative posture that somehow in the context of just the in the context of an oppression so great as what we're witnessing so great in which the british and us and global capitalism is supporting the israeli state in gaza that in the context of this this manipulation says no actually somehow we must respect the law of the land in britain somehow we must respect only peaceful struggle what on earth is going on here I just don't understand. You've literally got, since October the 7th, the Palestinian revolutionary mass community in occupied Palestine is saying to all of us, rise up against colonialism in solidarity and unity with us. And the response is, no. That's what it is. Let's just remove all the fraff. Let's remove all the manipulation, all the deceit, all the noise, The response is no. And now with Ramadan, again, the Palestinian revolutionary factions are saying this is a time for escalation of resistance. And too many responses in direct response to that or indirect response is a firm no. But we're going to bang our drums, but we're going to sing our songs, but we're going to dance to a form of bloody samba with the backdrop of a genocide. But we're going to do useless marches from A to B but we're going to just allow people to go into the hands of the police and the prisons. Oh, what the hell is all of this? What is all of this?